What up guys? Last time you saw us over here at Johnson Off-Road, we were stripping apart the uh, trophy truck. Got a little time lapse in there of getting all the front suspension off, all of the motor and transmission, all the drive shaft and everything out like that. Well, now it's a little bit more empty, so we've gotten all of the plumbing parts out. Uh, pretty much everything that makes the trophy truck a trophy truck is off of the chassis now. All of that's being refreshed, cleaned, sent out to all of their respective companies to all get redone, refreshed, brand new stuff. Uh, part of that process is unfortunately cleaning all the nooks and crannies out. Uh, so lots of simple green, lots of paper towels, little scrub brushes, some compressed air, and you know, basically you gotta make the chassis look like it's never touched dirt again. And it's kind of a hard thing to do because every time it goes out there, it gets absolutely wrecked. So let's, uh, let's see those tools you're using, dude. This is the uh, butt scrubber 9000. <laughs> The more you use it, the more tangled it gets. Just like butt hair. <laughs> well, you, that doesn't happen to you. You get a little dingleberries from fucking wiping too many times. <laughs> Pulling the underdrive off to send it out for service. Got a few hundred miles on it. And it's a good thing to get in there and check all the rollers, check all the gears, make sure everything is ready for the next race. Break out the old trusty. Oh yeah. See what kind of mess I can make. Gears. You know, fully tearing down the truck like this, what are some benefits of that? Well, you get a chance to put your hands on all the parts of the truck. So there's a lot of kind of stress points and kind of just dangerous areas that you always want to check out on these trucks. A lot of the uh, suspension components and stuff, they get exercised pretty darn hard every time it's on the track. So they'll start to fatigue and you'll find some uh, cracks and some wear points. And uh, a lot of times too, you'll find more efficient ways to be able to put the truck back together. So uh, if something came apart and you just noticed that when you're at the track, you can't really service it very well, this is your chance to be able to make those changes and go ahead and get them onto the truck and put them into use. Uh, it also just kind of gives you a chance to look at everything and you're, you'd be surprised what you find. So the process of tearing the truck down, we also have to plan for the future. So we have parts that are going to start going in, so we have the motor. Um, we're getting the rear end straightened out, but organization is, is key. So all the systems that come out of the truck get individually cleaned and put away into labeled bins. So that way it doesn't matter who jumps on the project, they know where to go to, whether they need the power steering parts, oil system, the spares that we mount on the car. And obviously there's a lot of things we're gonna be getting rid of, like the electrical system. Now, although we're not gonna be using this, it's valuable to someone. So we clean and inventory this. We can turn that around for budget for for the race team of stuff they've already spent money on, but we no longer need. That being said, we're also gonna to continue to move forward with sending things out. So it's really important to have good vendors. We use Fox and the guys at Alltech, they service all of our shocks. So all these are prepped and ready to go. The guys have cleaned them up. We give them one last wipe down, we'll load them in the truck, drive them down to Temecula and get them serviced as soon as possible. So that way when the truck goes back together, we aren't waiting on parts. Moving on. We have multiple projects going on in the shop. So with each one, we prep out one of these carts. This one's for the Pro 2 seater. So we have all of our FK rod ends laid out, ready to go to put together our suspension to get back on the car. Now that it's been crack checked, repainted, and now we're ready for some fresh rod ends to get that going on. Systems like this is what's helped us continue to, to run multiple projects at the same time here in the shop. As you can see, it's still a little bit crazy, but at least this way we know where everything's at. We have plenty of stuff done around here. We got our tubing up off the ground. The guys are killing it on the trophy truck. Um, but I gotta get back to work because we got plenty more stuff that needs to get put away so we can fit a couple more cars up in the shop. Thank you for checking back in. And we'll have you some more content soon. Dude, thanks. I handle it well.